What's going on, you guys? Alright, so this week is has been like any other week. Work, sleep, church, rabbit farm. And this week, I actually, actually tonight, me, Diego, Whitney, Zach, and Amber... Pretty much that was the fifth wheel. We went to the 20th anniversary re-release of Shrek 2. And when I tell you that Shrek 2 is the one movie I've seen in the theaters the most, this night makes it the fifth or sixth time I've seen it in theaters. And it's still funny. Like, I was even sitting next to a guy that I guess was with his mom. And when it comes to the point where Prince Charming finally makes it to Fiona's tower and he draws back the curtain, I even did the pantomime of drawing back the curtain. And, and then literally from that moment up until it cuts to Shrek and Fiona's honeymoon, me and the guy next to me were, were saying the lines as they were being said. Like, what? Princess Fiona? No! Oh, good God. Oh, thank God. Well, well, where is she? She's on her honeymoon. Honeymoon? With who? <laughs> and me and him bursted out laughing. And when it comes to when Shrek meets Fiona's parents, and he's just like, well, it's good to see where Fiona gets her good looks. I facepalmed really loud, and I even told told the guy next to me 20 years later and that joke still makes me face palm and everyone in the theater heard me and bursted out laughing so it was a good night and Whitney had never seen Shrek 2 how have you not seen Shrek 2 Sure, she's seen all the other Shrek movies and the Puss in Boots movies. And even that very short-lived Netflix show of, P of Puss in Boots. She's seen those. She's seen those. But not this one. <sighs> but it was a fun night. And I'm glad that we took time to spend time together. And, you know, can't wait for the next movie night. Wait, I think I know what movie night it's going to be. Um, It's going to be for May the 4th. I think they're re-releasing Phantom Menace. I think. Phantom Menace. Yeah, because last year it was Return of the Jedi. But, but yeah. I'll be sure... I'll, I'll be sure to at least try to get my ticket before they get sold out. Because obviously Star Wars very big famous franchise i don't know if any of y'all have heard of it but anyway so i at least have that to look forward to and i just did the math i only have four weeks left of work until summer break and i have decided that once my better help membership is renewed for this month you know this month is paid for. While well, I still have an income. It's it's only down to like $200 a month. Sometime between. When my. Membership is. You know like unpaused. I plan. I'm going to try. To reach out to Dr. Williams. And see if we can have one more session. Just to show her like hey. You know I appreciate all you've done for done for me but I made a lot of progress on my own and I think I've got this and if I need help I'll renew my my account 
But if I do that, most likely I will not get Dr. Williams again. And it's, you know, it's just, I know it's not a personal relationship. It's more of a professional, like, therapist, patient relationship. Even though we did share some laughs and I did tell her personal stuff. That doesn't make our relationship personal and and all that. But I at least... I at least want to say goodbye. Because she's helped me more than y'all will ever understand. And I at least owe it to her to tell her how much I appreciate what she's done. And let her know like, hey... I've grown so much in the past year because of her help. And it's time to go our separate ways. I know back in like October, I think it was, I was talking about, I may have said it in one of these videos, I don't remember. But I was thinking about changing therapists. And I went back on that thought so but this I'm not back I'm not going back on mainly because during the summer I I think I've been told I can file for unemployment technically but if, if that's at all possible I'll still have to do DoorDash I'll still have to you know you know go through that whole process and just like you know I'll only gain like a, like a fraction of what I usually earn. I don't even know how much I'll earn, but it's, it's all up in the air. So I'll, I'll get it figured, I'll get it figured out. But having an extra $200 in my bank account every month, that'll definitely help. So, anyway, I've gone on long enough. I'm going to hop in the shower and go to bed because I'm tired. So, until next time, stay positive and stay awesome, everyone. See ya.